today I am doing a tag and it is called the horror tag. I saw this on Enigma 77 reviews. So the person who created this tag is Sophie from Mooseham. So I will link her down below. And I've only been watching her very recently. Yeah, my camera keeps moving. <laughs> it's out. There we go. So um, I've, I haven't been watching her that long and she did this tag and it's got 13 questions. Let's see how many I end up missing out this time. Some of them I might have trouble answering. I am a horror movie watcher, um, but I've only got Netflix to watch it on and lots of them aren't on Netflix. <laughs> Not where I am anyway. So the first question is what horror what the first horror movie you watched? Um, I can't really remember the very first horror movie I watched, but I started reading horror before I started watching horror. So I um, I started reading Stephen King and loved it. And the first movie I saw that was made from the t Stephen King books was Firestarter, and I hadn't actually read Firestarter at that stage so I saw the movie and really enjoyed it and um, I can tell you now that, that I have read the book the book is a lot more gruesome than the movie was <laughs> the, the, the movie was quite tame compared <laughs> to that <laughs> number two what is the movie that made you fall in love with the horror game it wasn't a movie it was books again because <laughs> I was I was a major reader and when I was younger um, they didn't really show a lot of horror movies on TV. So I got my horror kicks from books and Stephen King was my number one <laughs> for books. So I've, I've read most of what he's done, apart from short stories, I'm not into short stories. I, I want a novel. I want something that's going to last me a long time. <laughs> why, why do I like it is, one of the reasons is because um, he always has that little twist at the end. So it's not really really predictable like some of them are. Number three, favourite horror sub slasher, thriller, splatter, torture, supernatural etc. So my favourite type of horror movie would be like haunted houses or evil spirits or the suspense type ones where you don't really know what's going on until the end but it's not just war. I'm not really into those ones. The ones like um, Halloween movie. I don't even know what they're all called. Uh, like the one with Freddy in it. <laughs> it's like The Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> the first movie I didn't mind. It was kind of gory and you got the, the idea of the story and things. And that one was okay, but then it kind of got repetitive and it wasn't until the last one that you found out what was all going on in the series. That would probably be the only kind of slasher type movie that I thought was quite good, but it was also predictable and silly. <laughs> so, the, the Chainsaw Massacre ones and all that kind of stuff, I'm, that's not really what I'm into because to me they're just predictable and, and gore. I like the ones that have a bit more um, suspense in them and you're not quite sure what's going to happen. So things like um, The Haunting of Hill House, I really enjoyed that series recently. And um, and, and I like the fun ones, like Hocus Pocus, and, which isn't really scary, but <laughs> it's a fun one. And things like Six Sense, which isn't really scary, but it's got that twist in you, something unexpected happens. And oh, I did see what that one was called, I forgot. The one that has um, Robin Williams on it and he dies in the story, I think in a car crash with his son or something, and his wife commits suicide and she goes to hell, so he comes back and goes into hell to get her. And so it's different. It's it's different from the predictable, and I really enjoy that kind of one. Um, but I also really like things like The Exorcist, which is gory, but it's got like evil spirits and stuff. Um, the Poltergeist movies I really enjoy. And I quite like the Final Destination movies, but they kind of got predictable. The first one was great because it was unexpected, but the rest were kind of predictable. <laughs> Number four, 
horror movie that scared you so much you couldn't sleep. Now, this was a really silly one because I was quite young and um, we lived in the country and um, it was actually Gremlins. <laughs> so I watched the Gremlins and it was in the middle of the night I woke up and I could hear this breathing outside my window. It was going, <sighs> freaked me out <laughs> so much. And, and, and there was a noise. There was actually a possum outside my window. <laughs> but that really freaked me out and I couldn't sleep. <laughs> so, so, so Gremlins freaked me out. <laughs> what horror movies do you think are overrated? I think all the Chainsaw Massacre kind of ones and... Halloween ones and just that kind of slasher kind of movies with teenager girls running around in their underwear are all overrated <laughs> quite frankly <laughs> I know some people love those but it's not me <laughs> so editing Laura here and this number five was a question that I felt I didn't really answer very well that I can remember so um what horror movies do you think are overrated well the Annabelle and Chucky movies, any movies that have dolls, I'm just not really into. Um, a very unpopular opinion of mine would be Halloween Town, I don't really like it. Another couple of um, unpopular opinions, they're not movies, they're series, but um, Supernatural and The Walking Dead. Really, really enjoyed those when they started, but they're both examples of what I think are series that went on too long. So it's Supernatural. How often can you kill off the main characters and bring them back to life? <laughs> it just became boring after a while. But I really, really enjoyed the first series. I don't know how many series I enjoyed before it started getting up, but I, I watched quite a few of the series before it was like, no, enough is enough. And The Walking Dead, really enjoyed quite a few of the series. and But then when it stopped being about surviving and zombies and you know and more about one gang of people versus another gang of people I lost interest so I just think they should have finished the um, series a lot sooner <laughs> so th those are probably unpopular opinions <laughs> but that's my opinion <laughs> I'm looking things up I started watching In the Tall Grass on Netflix I didn't like that one <laughs> the other one I didn't like <laughs> I'm answering the question before it some more was um, the pretty little thing that lives in the house. I never even got halfway through that movie. It was boring <laughs> to me. Any horror movies that you think are underrated? What was that movie called that I watched the other day that I've never heard of on Netflix before, but I actually quite enjoyed Let me look it up. Okay, I can't find it. <laughs> so I don't know what it was called, but I'm sure some of you will know. The movie, um, that one where the guy takes a job looking after an old department store that has been in a fire, and it's about mirrors and people trapped in another world behind mirrors and trying to suck you into the mirrors and stuff. And this family think he's gone crazy and things. I really enjoyed that movie because it was again, it was different. I, it wasn't what I was expecting. And, um, yeah, so that, that was one that I thought was probably underrated. It, it was reasonably popular, I guess, but I didn't see that much hype about it. If you know the name of it, just put it down below in case anyone wants to look it up. Because I, I can't, I can't remember. And I also like I like movies about um, things like the apocalypse and things like the world ending and trying to survive it. Where, where I get bored is when it's like the monsters have kind of gone and it's the people fighting each other instead. So <laughs> I'm supposed to be answering the question, any horror movies that you think are underrated? Well, probably if I could find them and remember what they were called, but my, my memory is like I said, I can't remember and I can't find it. What is your favourite movie monster? Could be a literal monster or a really bad guy. Evil spirits are probably my favourite movie monsters or ghosts that start out nice and then something goes wrong or <laughs> so that, yeah, that's that's where I'm at with that. Number eight. Favourite scene or set piece from a movie. So I don't know whether it would count as a 
favourite scene, but one that sticks in my mind, and whenever I hear certain words or see something, I always think of that movie, and that is um, the word Red Rum. <laughs> I'm sure you can guess what movie that comes from, if you're in Dora. And Twins in a Hallway always make me think of that movie. The Shining. Because <laughs> it's just very much in my head. Number 10 was another one that I um, felt I wanted to add to. So number 10 was, are there any horror movies you can't watch, refuse to watch because they disgust you so much? I not say that they disgust me, I just aren't interested. And that's the It movies. <laughs> I haven't read the book, even though I love Stephen King. And I haven't watched any of the movies. It just, I started watching one of them and I did start reading the book and I just lost interest I wasn't interested in scary clowns attacking children <laughs> just wasn't it wasn't me and so yeah not gonna watch that one <laughs> have you got any horror crushes an actor or a character or whatever they got any crushes haunted houses are my crush <laughs> I um I, I just find that fascinating I don't actually believe in ghosts but I find all the haunted houses, ghost type movies and stories and stuff fascinating. <laughs> so that's where I'm at with it. <laughs> Best horror movie to watch on Halloween. Um, we don't have Halloween, so I I play with Halloween makeup this year because I'm doing YouTube, but we don't have Halloween. So um, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I guess whichever scares you the most or whichever you have the most fun with. If I was... I, I don't like re-watching horror movies that much. I, I prefer the new stuff, so if I can find stuff I haven't watched before, I will do that. <laughs> what is your guilty pleasure horror movie? Um, I really like Pet Cemetery. Not... I don't know about the new one, because I haven't seen it, but the older version of it, I really enjoyed it and it really freaked me out. There's just there was something about that movie, and the book was kind of freaky too. <laughs> I watched the movie and then I read the book. Usually, I read a book first and then watch the movie. But in, in, in that case, yeah. So, um, anything that Stephen King wrote, that is my guilty pleasure. I have, I've read and watched um, Christine, which is one about the car, and The Shining. The Shining book was harder to get through, and, I, and they wrote it. There was a second book, and I never actually finished that. <laughs> but but I quite, I thought the movie was quite good. And um, yes, Carrie was probably my least favorite movie, and I've seen the new version of that as well, and that's still my least favorite movie that he did, or that they made from his stories. I don't know whether this counts as a horror movie because. It's more like a comedy. And it was Ghostbusters, the um, the original movies. I really enjoyed those because it had an element of horror with spirits, evil spirit taking over the world and stuff. It was also really funny. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed that. So I like amusing horror or really suspense-filled, scary horror, but not necessarily gory and hot horror. I don't mind a little bit of gore, but... If that's all the movie is about, just people getting slashed up and killed, then that's not for me. I prefer something where I can't predict it and it's got a bit of a surprise to it. So, I really like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I don't know why. I just, I think I really enjoy it. I've watched the series more than once. So. <laughs> um, True Blood. I really enjoyed that as well. I'm not really that into vampires, but. They're both vampire-y type things, but they've got lots of other things in it, it, in it as well. And the other one, that's it's not really a horror thing, but it, it gets more horror-y as the series goes on, but it's not really a horror thing. But that was um, Ghost Whisperer. I really enjoyed it as well. <laughs> and have watched that more than once. Hey, hey, yeah, I quite enjoy zombie movies. Like, um, like I quite enjoyed Sea Nation. I didn't watch the whole series, but the first couple of seasons I watched and quite enjoyed. Even though it was silly, I thought it was silly. <laughs> and I added 
one question. So number 14, the question I added is, what are you watching now? So after watching a few of these horror tag videos, I wrote down all the movies that I haven't actually seen that I want to see. So I started watching Ginger Snap last night, which is basically a werewolf kind of movie with teenagers in it. But um, I'm only halfway through, I didn't finish it because I decided to go to sleep. <laughs> Not that it was boring or anything, I actually quite enjoyed it. And um, they had a free version on YouTube, so <laughs> I decided to watch it. And a lot of the movies I haven't got any access to without paying for them, so um, I'm already paying for Netflix and none of them were on Netflix that I wrote down. And a series that I'm watching, and I'm just going to check that I've got the name right, I think it's called Black Spot. Yeah, it was called Black Spot, and it's actually a French series. And on the surface, it doesn't look like a horror kind of movie, because it's actually about um, a small town in the middle of nowhere surrounded by a forest, and it's about the sheriff and the crimes that go on there, but they all kind of connect back to the forest and weird things happen. And I'm not going to give too much away in case you want to go and see it. And it's it's in it's in English, but anything written is in French. But they do write um, non subtitles for for that. So yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying that series at the moment. I'm nearly at the end of it, and um, yeah, so I'm quite enjoying that series. It's got a bit of mystery and a bit of weird stuff, and <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm currently watching. What are you currently watching? And have you got any recommendations for me that I can? easily access on Netflix <laughs> because I can't find any more on Netflix that I actually want to watch <laughs> so sometimes it's hard to find them if you don't know what the movies are called <laughs> so if you have any recommendations then I will be glad to hear them I have watched things like um, The Haunting of Hill House and I've watched The Cabin in the Woods and what else have I watched? I've started watching Wounds, but I'm not sure if I'm really going to like that. I've watched The Chalet. I've watched The Conjuring and The Conjuring 2. And The Woman in Black 2. I watched Ghost Wars. I haven't seen the second series of Stranger Things. I watched the first series and enjoyed it, but um, for some reason I just haven't gotten to the second series. <laughs> so tell me if that was any good if you've seen it. I really enjoy a good horror movie, but I don't want to watch just slashing and dying. I want to watch something with a bit of mystery, a bit of story, a bit of suspense. So tell me what kind of ones you like to watch. I'd like to see Anya Stamper do this. I'd like to see what she likes to watch. If you are into horror movies, Angie at Fulbright Earth Beauty I think is into horror movies too, so you could do it Angie. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who I know that's into horror movies. There's a, I think there's a few of them, but I don't want to tag anyone who doesn't like horror movies, so I'm not going to tag lots of people. So if you like horror movies, and you would like to share your favourites and do this tag, then please do, because then I will write down all the ones I haven't watched, so I can go watch them. <laughs> so, purely selfish motivation in wanting people to do this tag. <laughs> so thank you for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time, and happy